If you rank the pros and cons of Royal Oak, parking would certainly be on the con list and it's about to get worse, at least for a while. It's also the city can start adding a few things to the pro side of that list, like more businesses. But as Jason Colthorpe explains, it's coming with a cost to the current businesses. Many of us have driven around Royal Oak aimlessly and endlessly searching for that one coveted parking spot. And now the city is actually selling off some of its parking lots, including this one, to a private company to make way for a huge office building. This is a pain in the butt to park on the city, you know. Oh, we know. Chef Johnny Prepelik, who owns Mr. B's, sees the benefit of the development going in right behind him, but he and other businesses here think the parking part of the project needs to come first. If there is no parking, if they wipe out this parking uh, prior to that parking lot being built, It'll cost these businesses, it'll cost our businesses hundreds of thousands of dollars. Part of the city's development plan is to turn two lots into office space with self-contained parking areas and put up a parking deck for the public where a third lot was. They need to make sure they're high enough and they have enough parking to give us at least as much parking, if not more than what we have now. Well, it's a balance between what happens in the short term and what happens in the long term. That balance, according to city manager Don Johnson, is the pain of inconvenience. In the end, we'll have a couple more parking structures, we'll have more office buildings, we'll have more employees, we'll have more business uh, for all the restaurants, we'll have more business uh, for the retailers. But that's not until next year sometime. The businesses that depended on one lot already sold to a developer for one dollar are hurting right now. As soon as the parking lots first closed, I definitely noticed a drastic decrease in the business, which is definitely taking a toll on the mom and pop shops around downtown Royal Oak. Here's the good news and bad news that comes with these new parking areas that will go with these new office buildings. Obviously, those employees will be using those during the day, but they will open up to the public at night and on weekends when the city says that's when the demand is greatest for parking in Royal Oak. Now, the unknown question is how much you'll have to pay to park there. Reporting live, Jason Coulthorpe, Local 4.